everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we're gonna do a fabric fail on the French braider. So this one is from Conair, this one I bought off Amazon. You can see that there's a little bit of a size difference. They tout themselves as being able to teach even a beginner who has no experience how to French braid. So we're gonna test that by bringing in some of my office team members who have very little braiding experience and letting them try it. Now if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to just pop that button right there, subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notifications and let's get to it. Sana has chosen to use this French braider by Conair. And I am gonna go off screen and I will be reading the directions and we will see how this turns out. Good luck, Sana. I'm gonna win, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. <laughs> Okay, so Dana has opted to do the basically the same tool, but it's a much smaller version. And this one we bought on Amazon. Okay, Cece is our last and final braider. And she, we are gonna go ahead and have her use the larger one. And she has opted not to put product in the hair to start with. Yeah, I am. I'm ready. Okay, here you go. Okay. Step one, pick up a small section of the hair and hold the French braider under the hair where you want the braid to begin. Okay. <laughs> where is the braid supposed like to be? Where on the head? Okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, so pick up a small section and put that under. Under what? Pick up a small, small section of hair and hold the, the no word. I'm assuming there's supposed to be the word tool there. Under the hair where you want the braid to begin. Are you ready? Yeah, I have a small okay. section. Place one third of the hair into slot one. Wait, one third? Pick up a small section of hair and hold the tool under the hair where you want the braid to begin. Okay, and then you're gonna place one third of the hair into slot one. Hmm. Okay. And then divide the other hair into two equal parts and place them into slot three and slot four. Oh. First of all, how am I supposed to hold this and do all of this? Place one third into hair, of the hair into slot one. We're still on step one. <laughs> <laughs> Divide the remaining section into two equal parts and place these parts in slot three and four. Part, it's really hard to hold this thing and try to divide hair. Move the hair from slot four to slot two. <laughs> slot four will now be empty. Slot four to slot two. Oh, I get it. I can. Divide the remaining section of hair into two equal parts and place these parts into slots three and four. <laughs> Do I twist it? I'm gonna twist it. Okay, Ooh. three. Ooh. Okay. Step two. Move the hair from slot four to slot two. Yeah. Four. To two. To two. Yep, then three to four. Three to four. Then slot one to three, so slot one will now be one. empty. Okay. Then from slot two to slot one. Okay. You slot three to slot four. Okay. Is it hurting your hair? No. Move hair from slot one to slot three. Slot one to slot three. Move hair from slot two to slot one. Slot two to slot one. To slot one. Four to two. Then move hair from slot three to slot four. Okay, and it says, this is this has now started the French braid sequence, repeat step three. Oh for the length of the hair and fasten with an elastic. Pick up a new small strand of hair from the left side of the head and add it to slot one. Okay, so And then it? you add hair into slot one from the right. Oh, okay, I can do this, I don't need help. Wait, where'd this hair supposed to go? <gasps> okay, four to two. Uh, yeah, are you ready to repeat again? Yeah, four to okay, two. Four to two. Three to four. Three to four. One to three. One to three, that's And right. then two, two to one. one and then add hair on each side. Wow, braiding's fun. It doesn't fit in the thing. Wow, braiding's fun. There's supposed to be three things in this guy at a time, three strands in like a section at a time, right? I have four and I don't know where I went wrong. I'm curious because I personally think this tool is too small because Cassie has like, I would say medium thickness hair. So to me, it feels like her hair is just not fitting in the tool. So I'm actually gonna take this one out, give Dana the bigger tool and read the same directions and see if it's Dana air or tool air. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm doing it. I just have to drop it. Because if I don't, I'm just gonna lose my place. Wow, I already feel better. I've done nothing. Three to four. 
three to four. I forgot how to count. One to three. One to three. Oh, this already looks better. Wow. <laughs> Mindy McKnight who? I'm kidding. Okay, <laughs> and then you add in hair. From the side. From the right side to slot one and from the left side to slot four. Left side to slot one. <laughs> you ever, okay, have you ever been to the hairdresser and they're kind of like a little snippy and they're like, Let's show them. Let's show everyone. Four. One to three. One to three. Two to one. If this works, I'll buy myself one. Okay, one more stitch. Four to two. Wow, this is fun. Three to four. Three to four. <gasps> it's kind of working. Well, I mean, the brain part's really working down here, but <laughs> it kind of worked. This is the first, first print braid I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like actually so exciting. You guys, it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> and then you can loosen it, you can pancake it, you can add texture powder if you want, or whatever you want to do to tweak it. I guess a pier. No, you look like Snow White when she was a peasant. When she yeah. was a peasant, though. When she was asleep. <laughs> when she had bed head. Here's the final spin. You can keep doing it, or if there's three sections, then you kind of just pull the tool out and then start a regular braid. Oh my gosh, this is where I go wrong. Oh, so, so here's gonna be, okay, I gotta braid it in reverse now. Not on my shirt. <laughs> just lightly, just lightly. Oh. Mm. And then kind of work it in. And I feel like I'm massaging You should be able to pancake it. was when you had to hold the tool and place it on the head. Like it's hard to know where to put it if you've never done a French braid before. I've never done one before. And it's kind of hard to hold it for the first round while you're putting the hair into the little divots. <laughs> but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. And if I were to do it again, I think I have to make sure that when I'm pulling the strands, I really like clean it up and pull all the hair tightly together before I put it into the next divot. And I think it would look a lot cleaner. But I mean, I feel like this is cute. I would wear this. I would super wear this. Look! Oh, it's not bad. It looks so good. <laughs> would you try this tool on your hair? Click the poll over here and vote. I would give this a major fab as a future potential mom. I would use this on my future potential daughter. Solid. This is a solid tool. Thousand percent. I said if it worked, I would buy it. And I think I actually will. I do like how cute this thing is. Let me ask. Is there anything you do different? Oh, look at the picture, maybe. Oh no, you did pretty good instructions. It was pretty clear. Like if you know what a braid is, like you can figure it out. Like, I mean, the French braid is just like adding sections of hair to a braid. I'm into Would it. you give it a thumbs up, fab, or fail? It is definitely a fab, in my opinion. I thought that was pretty cool. I have no braiding ability, so it looks okay. So Let's what would that. you do differently? Anything? I think I would have got, grabbed hair earlier than later because it looks like I'm not really sure what's going on here. I think it's a fab. I think it would work really well for dads who are trying oh, to smart. do their daughter's hair as fast as they can. I liked it. Ah! No braid by Dana. Is this the same tool? Yeah. Do you want a braid that that's tight? No, of course Yours not. looks weird. Well, Why is it doing this thing? Yeah. I'm sorry that mine has character. Why is it Do you weird? think mine looks weird? Yes. Leave a yes. comment down below. So put it in the poll. Who do you think won? Right up here. Sana, Dana, or Cece? Okay, you guys, so here is my final recap. I definitely would not advise buying this one that's smaller unless you literally have almost zero hair in thinness because this just didn't hold enough. This one, however, I was really surprised by. I thought that they would be epic fails on these braids and they all turned out to some degree, right? They, but they all looked like a braid. Like if you walked outside, it would be a recognizable braid. I would definitely give this a thumbs up and a fab. So way to go. I'm pleasantly surprised. Although I'd give the tool a fab, I have to be honest, I thought the directions that came with this one were easier and better to understand. The way that they had you add in the hair I felt like was easier. So if I were being totally honest, if I were completely new and had never done this before, I would probably buy them both and use these directions with this tool. Now if you guys want to see more of these fab or fail videos, you can click over here. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to do that by clicking right here. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.